Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Glitter Time. That's right, the unfortunate name of Gary, uh, where he is going through a process of uh, legally changing his name at the moment. Poor guy. You know, it's unfortunate that he was called that, but it is part of his story and part of what helped him grow to be the farming hand that we have on farming sim <laughs> to this day. He, uh, he started the process by painting the boat blue. <laughs> He had it refurbished and uh, decided he wanted to go for a nice sky blue. Good on you, Gary. It looks looks good. Okay. Uh, what are we doing today? Well, in this part in this part of the story, we're heading south before we head north to check out this lobster area up here that uh, we were told about nine days ago. Uh, you know, it's better than just go back out, do the same fishing spot. I mean, we could, and I probably would if I was just playing on my own. But when I'm playing with you guys, and we want to do some exploring. We want to do some exploring. So this is the first port of call. Uh, we're going to pull in here and unlock this place. Then we're going to head around, see if we can get some unlocks for some other ships and pull into this one before we're heading up and uh, dropping our pots and then uh, maybe do a little bit more exploring up here further. There is another port, so we might drop into there. And then we've got uh, a lot of the big major ports unlocked. Now, unfortunately, I didn't go to this one when we were up this way, but we'll get back there one day. Okay, and there's plenty of little islands and plenty of deep sea fishing out around this way, right, for when we get those big, big vessels. But for now, this is our little trek around this south peninsula here before we head up to the northeast. Check out this uh, lobster spot and uh, get into it. So, I might do a little bit of employment of the fast forward. I could easily just transit us like this way, but I do actually want to rack up some miles doing the manual driving myself uh, because I actually don't mind it. It's quite therapeutic, to be honest. Uh, but up here, I think, uh, not far, is where our port, our first port of call is. We're just going to pull in around here, I think. I want to put in a navigational beaker, actually. Can I do that? Um, like, I'll, if I put that there... Does it give me... Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so I can see. Right. I can see on my map here, without having to... Uh, that having to burn through right so we kind of want to aim that way do we okay I'll, I'll trust you I will trust you all right uh, but that being said yeah I'll do a little bit of fast forwarding I think with a little bit of time lapse as we burn through some of these uh, distance drivings and then we'll get up and we'll lay some lobster pots now we've got like i said last time to the 31st of may we're in about the 2nd of august at the moment so we've got like a month and a half two months basically of lobster fishing left now we want to make the most of that time and try and rack up as much money as we can to try and buy a new boat now the new boats that we had at um at your mouth the boat, they were deep line fishing boats, so that's more your tuners and your swordfish fishing. Now, that's something I've never done in the game and I really want to have a crack at. Um, and I think first up is tuna. I think don't think it's... The next season is tuna. Uh, and if we, you can have a look by hitting M. Go into your wiki. Going, um... General... No, it's under here somewhere. I always get it mixed up. Fishing Barrency, Hard Getting Started, PDA. Fish types. Here, fish seasons. Here we go. So, this is when we end on our lobster. 31st of May. And bluefin tuna start on the 1st, okay? Right? And then swordfish don't start till August, right? So, we'd be looking at blue chin. If we, if we were going to buy one of those deep line fishing vessels that we could get for three seventy five or 430000 Otherwise, we go up here and do some unlocks, and we might we might be able to buy a bigger boat that could actually do some pollock or redfish. Now, these are pretty standard fish for fishing up here, but having said that, because they're all year round, they're, they're not as um, sought after, basically. But uh, having said that, we could buy a bigger boat that actually gets a bigger haul of those. Oh, I think we're, uh, we're going a bit skewed with Lucky. Luckily, we were paying attention there. All right, so this is our little headland in here where all these big wind turbines are that are blowing us sideways currently at the moment. Yeah, so that's kind of what we're looking at anyway. So that's why I thought I'd do a little bit of traversing of the map, find out what's going on uh, in other ports, see what else we can buy ship-wise, or maybe we can unlock some more ships. And uh, it might give us a little bit more variety in the direction that we can take after our lobster fishing. But either way, we've got to keep bringing these lobsters in to make 
bank, okay? And we made some good bank last time. We got uh, we got ahead really well, and I I feel like if we hadn't have had that crash, <laughs> now, now you know why the boat needed to be refurbished after that crash. <laughs> Gary got it repainted. Uh, it spat it like a good what? I, I I forget, but it was a good like um like two miles. <laughs> the boat went flying. Oh, look at this. Here's our little port. This is a beautiful you got a little lighthouse, hey? That's a cute one. That's, that's... Where'd you get that out of your Ken and Barbie box, hey? Alright, so we're going to come up here. We're going to come up here, and then we'll officially begin the episode after my massive ranting intro. But it's good to give you guys the information. What's in my brain? The story that I have, uh... That I have retrieved from Gary. Dennis Point discovered. Hey, we got an achievement. Lovely. Welcome to Dennis Point. Ladies and gentlemen, on your left is Dennis Port. Oh, there's a tour bus coming to pick us up. Right, let's um, BB back to throttle down. Bring up the HUD for me. And... Doc, bro. We'll do some filling up here. Uh, maintenance, please. We'll do some... Always purchase. Always fill up. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. Shipyard. Shipyard, please. Available. Ooh, the legend. The legend is another deep line fishing vessel. Oh, it looks pretty cool, though. I'll be honest. And then... The <laughs> and then, well, the full throttle, basically. Oh, that's like... Now you get... Now you're talking luxurious. Hey, that's cool. What's this one? Another deep line. So that's a uh, maximum of 15 deep lines. Okay. All right, Point Dennis. I see where the game's trying to steer us, and that's straight into deep line fishing. Okay. Fair enough. Well, that's been Port Dennis, ladies and gents. So let's move on to our next destination, shall we? Which will be... Um... Uh, Around the headland here, I want to try and see if I can gain some unlocks, uh, but up into here. But what I might do is I might head up. Uh, do we want to head here, then set the pots and go up north a bit further? Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Okay, so we're coming around this headland here into the port. You can just see right here. It's at this point of the game where you're thinking, Ham, we're probably almost 10 minutes in very soon. Well, maybe not in your time, actually, because I've done a lot of cutting and editing. But for a fishing game, there sure is a lack of fishing. <laughs> you know what? It's an open world fishing game where we get to explore. So everybody, it's part of the game mechanics. Leave me alone. And we're heading up to a new fishing location anyway. <laughs> Just enjoy, enjoy the night sky, the smooth rock of the boat, and the smooth dosal tones of Ham, your host, during the chair on the air, on the waterways and the airways, on Ham FM. Okay. This looks like the dock just up here, flashing green and red. Well, Green is uh, starboard, and red is port. Which, ironically, they're on the opposite sides because red should be on the left and uh, green should be on the right. So that might be coming out of port here, but they look like they're on land. So I don't know what's going on there. Whether there might be just traffic lights on the blink, <laughs> who would know? Uh, either way, we're going to stick to this left-hand side of this uh, shawl just here. But that does look like the marina just down there on the left. Actually, it's actually tucked in around to the left. So we have to go in and do a bit of a U-banger, a U-turn. All right, they want us to reduce down to what, six knots? Tell them their dream. You are entering shallow water. Okay, well maybe we have to just back it down to about that. You are entering you are entering shallow water. Let me bring up my fish finder here so we can have a look. Holy snapping duckfish. Three meters going into... Yeah, okay. 
that is uh, super, super duper shallow. No wonder why you got to do six knots, because if you got this thing back and down at the end, uh, you're going to bottom out. Holy moly, look at that little... That must be like a big rock fan, rock thing underneath the water. Right, uh, and then do I swing in just here? Where exactly... Where th if exactly are you? Right, so we want to... That's coming out, so... Okay, we've got to head around to the far side there on the right. So, <laughs> I was right. Okay, so... Yeah, as we come out, I'm pretty sure we have to come out through this way, but if not, it might be barricaded off, is it? I think it's just... Oh, it must be for the... Must be the for the fancy yacht owners. Oh, no, it's over there. How do I get in there? Am I supposed to go in another way? I'm just going to go in this way, even though I'm not supposed to. Only because I can't see what's going on, and I don't think there's an entrance over that side. But... Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure you meant, meant to keep, um... Meant to keep red on the on the left and green on the right, but uh, you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> I think it's actually if two passing boats are coming through there. Lock, Lucky Port discovered. Is it Lucky Port? Would you say, or Lockport? I don't know. If anybody knows, tell me down below. Alright, so we're steaming in. We can just... Well, let's crank up the speed here a little bit now. Pretty, this is a pretty little place, though. This is probably one of my favourite little places to come in. It's like a pretty little town. Beautiful little, like, cove. Right. We're just doing the rounds today. Okay. First things first. Maintenance. Fill up. Right. Purchase fuel. Groovy, groovy. Uh, look at us. Reputation, Junior. We've almost reached... High reputation improves the prices of fish sold and increases the difficulty and reward of jobs. Increase your reputation at each port by completing jobs, selling fish, and spending money. Okay, very cool. Shipyard, please. What have you got available? Ooh, now the Ocean Runner is a lobster. So it's basically what we've got. But, um... But it's bigger version. Okay, that's a cool boat. The Ocean Scout. That's that's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's getting hey, that's getting fishing. What does this do? Um, it's hard to know what the Ocean Scout does. Double dragger rigged for scallop fishing. Oh, cool. That's part of the new DLC. And this one here is um. Rigged for mackerel fishing. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, this is rigged for deep line and lobster fishing. Okay, that's good to know. So it does do deep lines as well. $695,000. I don't think we'll make that much money, but oh, wouldn't that be good to have? We could have a boat that does two for the price of one. Okay, well, thank you very much, Lucky Port, if that's what your name is. I can't remember. We're going to skedaddle back out of here and go and drop some pots. We're going to put on our crocs, drop some pots, and pull up your socks, ladies and gentlemen. We've got some fishing to do. Okay, so we are out here. I just want to check on my... Okay, that's that big bit of land straight up there. Right, so that must be that bit there we can't see. It's annoying that we're doing this in the dark once more. Right, we've got the fish finder up ready to go. A lot of pollock redfish out here. That generally means that on the base... We will have some lobster. We're coming over to the point where the information was told to us, so hopefully uh, we'll get something very soon. We might just turn slightly that way. Mind you, it was nine days ago, remember, that we were told this. But that doesn't necessarily mean 100 meters sonar not good enough. Oh... I wonder if we should head back to Lockie and do some upgrades. Or we could burn up here, which looks like it could be a major port. Yeah, let's do that, okay? Let's burn up here. 
Uh, that way, that way. We'll go around the headland just in case something comes up that we want to stop and check out. Okay, try that for us there, champion. Right. And then we'll come back once we got a better sonar. Yeah. Oh! Stop! I think... It, uh, clear. Give me this. I think that'll be a, um... Kelp rock discovered. Yeah, okay. It's just like another peninsula point. Didn't give us a ship or anything, which kind of... That kind of hurts. It kind of hurts, man. Alright, we've got to do some more better exploring, I think, if we want to unlock some ships. Uh, none of this, like, just haphazard. Right, go. Oh, it's, and the morning's coming up, so this is perfect for us because we're going to be able to do our fishing during the day. Alright, look at the size of this place. Now, this is a town. Undiscovered location. What is the name of this place? Oh, is that like the size of their port? Okay, this This is what I'm talking about <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna buy a house here Lunenburg, Lunenburg, Lunenburg? Let's go with Lunenburg We're getting all of the achievements today for all of the unlocks Right, and the point here is we want to... Surely at a place like this we can buy a bigger, uh, a bigger and better sonar. Right. Let's check, uh, let's check the shipyard too while we're here. Available. Available. The Andrea Gale. Holy snapping dogfish. Rig for fishing deep lines. Look at that thing. Hey, that's a tub. And then the Arctic Pioneer. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Out. Hey, one day, and the Atlantic Catcher. Alright, so we've unlocked a lot of good... Uh, that's Snow Crab too, cool. What's this one? Lobster. Alright, well, they're way out of our price range, just mostly like this, this town probably is out of our price range. Right, what can we do for upgrades, please? I need to get the fish sonar, please, upgraded. Now, what will this do? That'll do 250 meters. I'm thinking we go all out and just get the 1,000 meter boy and be done with it. And it's 8,000 bucks, but we're going to do it, okay? Do we want to do any other upgrades at the moment? Maybe a fishing quota? We haven't even really maxed that yet, yet have we? 200,000. Yeah, you're dream. Tell them they're dreaming. Uh, the radar gets us... Upgrade the radar to increase range of discovering hidden locations. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll add that to the basket. I'll spend a little money to make a little money, okay? Don't, don't, don't me. Don't be, don't be. Be a doobie. Autopilot? The heck does autopilot do? Autopilot lets you steer itself and hold a preset course. Stop it! I don't think we'll get that for this boat. We can manage without it for a bit, but well, 25 for an upgrade. Yeah, okay. I think we're done. Let's check out $13,000. Can we get that? Is that fitted or is it just done? Yeah, okay. Sonar's down to a thousand meters now, so that's fantastic. All right. And, uh, and, uh, we should have a better radar on board. Um, and if you're wondering what this kind of a radar generally is, the navigational radar, well, it's basically a nav radar is what it's called. But the actual type of a radar is what you would call an end-to-end -end fed slotted wave guided radar. Get that in your mouth. Actually, one thing we didn't do, I'm just pulling back in here. I actually hit the docks as well. I was co I was having a coughing fit and I hit the docks. So it cost us $12,000 in repair. So I thought I'd better let you know that in case you're wondering and you see our money. I did hit the docks, but I do actually want to talk and I want to go to town, please go to town and I want to go to the bar and I want to get some tips. Okay, for $3,000, get lobster locations. Okay, we're down to 155 because I hit the docks. That was a dumb mistake. Uh, and get the locations for a week ago. Yep, okay. Not that we needed that because that was for fish, I think, wasn't it? Now, where were our tips just then? Tips, 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 tips. Okay, that was the Pollock one that I didn't actually need, but it was free anyway. Ah, over here. 
seems to be the popular place, doesn't it? But we're going to still check out this place down here because uh, why not, All right? And then uh, once we've done... It's hard being on the edge. I, I hate that I can't move past the side of here. Like, I'm, I'm restricted by this. But we might head down here, drop our pots and check it out. And then we might come back up here and see if we can do some discovery while we wait for our 20 hours. Annoyed that I hit the dock, so... Annoyed that I was having a... I was just having a sip of my coffee and I just... It went down the wrong passageway. It went down the airway instead of the stomach way. And that'll learn me, won't it? Don't try and breathe the coffee in. Okay, so down here we go. I've got that uh, Whitney Houston um, song stuck in my head. Actually, can we get rid of that one and that one? Because we can just probably come from this way. I've got that Whitney Houston uh, song stuck in my head because I was just watching the... Um, I was watching... Um, Reactors react to the Ryan Reynolds and uh, Hugh Jackman announcing that uh, Hugh's going to play Wolverine and uh, Deadpool one more time. And I was so excited. Okay, look at this. Down to a thousand meters. We've got some lobster, ladies and gents. Right, we're going to wait to see if we can get some more lobster here, though. Doesn't seem like quite enough. But uh, we've got a little bit to burn into here to this point, though, to check out. But, oh, we just, I'm glad we bought the 1,000 meter one because... Oh, no, that's at current depth below. Is that this point or this point's at 211 meters? So we didn't need the 1,000 meter, but... Hey, for $8,000, I think it was a good upgrade. And we're going to be keeping the boat. I don't think we're going to be selling the boat off. We, we, we'll be keeping the boat, so it's not like we can't go back and use it again. So 8000 bucks for a better sonar. Yeah, any day of the week. Right, we're getting closer to our point here. I hope we start seeing some lobsters soon, or this could have been a bum steer of a, of a tip. And we've come all this way for nothing. We haven't really, because we've done a lot of exploring today. You're missing the point, Ham. You haven't done any fishing. Okay, so I've got some bad news. There are no lobsters in this area, but... We do have a flashing what looks like a whale symbol popping up on the map. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know what's going on. Is there a whale around here? And I don't know it. I don't know what's going on, but there could be a whale underneath us, uh, which is quite cool, but I can't see anything, okay? I'm keeping a vigilant lookout. But so no lobsters in the area, so we're going to now have to trek. I, you know what, I didn't get any tips from um, Lockport, Lockyport, or I didn't get any tips from Dennisport, but, but the tips from here set over here. So we're going to make the long, arduous trek all the way back around, and I'm going to pull up probably just shy, now what are these? Lobsters, four days, four days, two days, two days, two days, right? Mm. I think they're from us, however. But we're going to head back around here. I want to pull out just over here to see if we can find any lobsters. Maybe just a bit south of where they are as well. Uh, there might be. So, without further ado, employ the jet engines. We might get a couple of... No, we won't because we're out in the middle of the water. But if we swing past... Actually, we take you like this way. We might actually come through here. Might, something might show up if we dart through this little set of like... Uh, whatever it is. Archipelago section. Islands. Islands? Yeah, we'll just say islands. Something might pop up. Yep. I knew it. Okay, so clear that. Just come to here for me. Ooh, what have we, uh, what have we here? Yeah, it's a really small set of islands. Okay, it looks like it's just going to be a lighthouse. Wow, holy wind farm out in the middle of the water, Batman. Talk about some next level stuff. I've never seen anything like it. And I've seen some pretty crazy stuff out at sea. If you're going to do it though, you probably want it out in the water where, where there's a lot of wind generated. Right, Sea Island Discovered. Well, you're not wrong. Hey, what's this? A bit of lobster. Have we potentially found a new little secret lobster spot? 
Okay, we are really like south out here. I wonder if I wonder if we can sell tips to other to other fishermen about locations. In fact, I'm thinking if we just start. Oh no! I want to just see first if there's going to be a few more lobster, but this could be an untapped, untouched resource of lobster that nobody knows about, except for this bloke who lives in his lighthouse and he goes out lobster fishing all day and eats fresh lobster. And the biggest you've ever seen, are. I don't know why he's a pirate. Maybe he's an ex-pirate. Okay, no more coming up though. That's probably it. Uh, I bet there's just lobster everywhere. We just... You just gotta look for it. Okay, there is some more lobster here. Okay, we're gonna give it a go. BB back the throttle down to half. Let's, um... Is it, uh... V for Victor? Let's get up. Let's, um... Let's do it. Hey, let's do it. Get me a pot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Set the pot. Set the pot, just set the pot, baby. Uh, can we change the fish finder too, please? Switch mode. Oh yeah, there's plenty of lobster coming in there. Hey, get the binoculars out. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're gonna give this a go. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, keep an eye on that fish finder. I'm keeping two eyes firmly on the prize. Yeah, sure, why not? Hey? We, it's not like we can do any worse, surely. Maybe we'll just see how we go. Maybe we'll set half here and half up the other end. You have 80 baits remaining. Okay. Well, we'll be okay. Set, 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 set. Set the pot. Set, set the pot. There we go. Uh, can we go up throttle a bit, please? We may as well go like uh, full throttle. We'll do one more pot, shall we? Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Unless we get another one pop up here shortly. Another lobster. It looks like there is down there though, is there not? Yeah, there's some more down there. Underneath that redfish that's right on the bottom. That looks like a lobster head. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, alright. Do another one. We may as well do half here. We'll do half here and half up north. Unless we get more lobsters start to pop out just now. Oh, look, they're starting to come through now as well, aren't they? There's probably not as much as you think, though. Like, there's sporadically on the bottom, aren't they? Uh, do we run the risk of doing another one? It's really hard. It's really rough water at the moment. It's hard to see. Uh, I think that's kind of it for here. Right, okay, so that's down here. Let's chuck a lobster point just down here. Yeah, okay. Right, uh, next spot. Let's just, let's just burn over to here. They seem to like this, this sort of, this sort of depth, don't they? But maybe we'll just go here and see what's going on first. Okay. So we've got 57 minutes la da back on that. So keep that in mind. 20 hours. 20-ish hours we want to wait for. Okay. Uh, ooh. Don't know if there's any more lobster here. But let's churn it and burn it a little bit. See what happens. Otherwise, we'll just boost straight up north. And uh, to where we know there's a spot. We'll drop the other six there. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much coming here. Let's not waste time. Let's just get up there and do it. We 
which is going to be good. So by the time we get up here, lay these, we can sort of head back down here, get ready for those, pick those up, and then we can make a quick blast up here to pick these up. Should be, should work all right. Crazy just subscribed, and I, I forgot to turn the, um, I forgot to turn uh, my, my streaming software to uh, silent while I was recording. So, uh, welcome, crazy. Thanks for subscribing. If you'd like to be like crazy and uh, get a mention on one of my videos like that, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and hopefully I'm recording at the same time. <laughs> Thank you also, Matthew McConaughey, for that. All right, all right, all right. And speaking of all right, all right, let's... Um, can we get some lobster, please? We might need to go up to one of these points up here a little bit further. Okay, so we're just starting to come into some lobster territory now. And I feel like this is going to be a good comparison. All right, so let's just go to like that so I can get ready here. All right, let's get our six pots remaining. This will be a good comparison to see because it looks like there's a fair few lobsters laying on the bottom here. Yeah, okay. Uh, like a little bit more anyway compared to uh, what we just witnessed down near the island, okay? So, if that's the case, we will be able to see if we get a, a bigger haul here, although there's, uh, it's sort of stopped again. It's about the same, isn't it? When you think about it. Let's set the pot here. Come on, set, set the pot. Just set the pot, baby. Set the pot and tip the pot over. Don't get DMC-8'd, Ham. Alright, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll just drop them all here and see how we go. Uh, can we go, uh... Let's go. Let's boost the throttle. When you know you're gonna drop here, you can go full biggies with this, uh, with this boat. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is a good spot to drop. Set the part. We're not far enough away from that one just there yet. Now we are. Two to go. Pretty close to that one, isn't it? Just spread it out just a touch. Yeah, we're coming into some lobster territory now. And the last one. Make sure we're not in a collision course with anyone. All right, that's the last of our pots. Back in the driver's chair. Thanks, driver. Okay, so, yeah, lots of lobster here, actually. Right. Now it's the waiting game. So, down here we should be at six hours. By the time we boost back down here, boost. Uh, I could go up and get this, but I don't think we, we don't have time. By the time we get back down here, what I want to do is I want to come down here, right? Let's come down here, check our time. It's going to be... Seven, you'll get into eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna do some driving just down and around here to see if we can find maybe there's some other lobsters we don't know about. Ten hours. We've got a few hours up our sleeve anyway to come back and pick these up. We've got a we've got a fair whack up our sleeve there. Were they ones I don't think we should have those there, should we? That wasn't a thing, I didn't think. Right, let's get out and uh, let's get out and check these waters. Now it is pitch black. But we don't need it to be, we don't need it to be bright when we're using our sonar. I love this uh, fish finder though. It's, it's, I love how it knows exactly what they are. I love how it knows that this fish is a red fish. Does it just go, Bing? It's the color red. It's a red fish. <laughs> Bing. It's got, it's got clippers. It's a lobster. <laughs> like, uh, that's not how sonars work, generally. Because sonar works on noise, and basically it's a noise that returns. Unless it, well, I guess that's a, that's a sound echoing sonar noise, anyway. That's how, that's how I've been trained. I don't know how these fish finder ones work. I would have thought the same kind of thing, though. But I, I have been known to be wrong a lot. Okay, there's, 
Like zero zilch nothing. Nada zip out here. Next location. We may as well do a little bit of this, um, a little bit of this fish, fish finding hunting. All right, we're into uh, 14 hours there, which is not, not too bad. Right. Oh. Oh, now, hang, hang on a minute. What, what have we got here? We got Pollock as well. All right, so we've got one lobster. It's not really. You're not really convincing me here on... Yeah, one lobster. That's not really, like, tipping me over to the point where I want to, uh, I want to put a marker down and say this is where we're going to fish from now on. This is our secret spot. wonder if it would have been back further this way. Like, back that way. Come full about. What have we got? 15 hours. Okay, no, nothing. I don't think there's anything much out here. Not that we need anyway, for us. Yeah, nothing. Okay, at a thousand. So we're looking at what? A hundred meters to the bottom. It's not really that deep, is it, out here? I mean, that is deep. Don't get me wrong. Hundred meters is a deep. Is that's quite deep. <laughs> All right, let's head back up here now. Get ready for our for our long our long haul of lobsters. Sixteen. We want to be coming in when it's blue, though. That's the thing. So we'll do a quick like this see how that gets us there we go right so our first one is uh, right there Ooh, hard to see but that's where we're heading Hello, mate. He's, down, he's over on his island, just kicking back in his rocking chair, shelling some lobster. Yeah, I want to hear, buddy. I found your little secret. He's going, don't you? I'll pay you good money to not tell anyone else about this lobster spot. Because while it's not the most pop populated lobster spot, it's probably the largest lobsters in town. And if it's not, well, then I'm wrong again. And I'm always wrong. All right, so first, Riggy here. And you know how this, you know how this ship goes. We do a couple together, and then I fast forward through the rest and make you feel sick by all the fast forwarding that do. It's so erratic, like it's hard, but the lobster is kind of like that. It's kind of like that game mode that's kind of like, uh, oh no, come back. Uh, because you gotta bob up and down like with your head movements on the camera so much, it can make it quite sickening to watch, I would imagine, in fast forward. Because I gotta look down constantly and measure things, it happens really fast. So what I might do is I could I could potentially slow down um, the time lapse speed that I do it. I normally do it my time lapse at about um, uh, seven hundred times. Uh, what I could do ooh, are we taking that? No, throw that back. Thanks, return that lobster. Oh, we'll definitely keep him. Uh that lobster. Oh, no, elastic bands. Yeah. Hey, you don't want to put your hands in there and get nipped. All right, you can go back. You can go back. This is so far not, not so... Oh, that's a giant! All right, we'll take you. Oh, that's on the cusp. We'll take it. Uh, you... Oh, see, I reckon that's about the same, but... Boy, you're a big one. And we'll take you... Hey, that's not a bad first, um, I thought it would be less, I'll be honest. Right, next pot. So, so far in our storage, what have we got? S uh, 
I'd like- oh, no, I don't want that. I'd like to know exactly. There is a section here that shows us how much we've got in our hull. Remaining. Hmm, I don't quite know. I know there, there, there is a setting I can see how much we've got in store and then how much we've actually, um, how much space we've got left. And I could see how much we've got left there, but I couldn't see how much we've got left in store, which gives me a good indication of what we've got. Right, you're going back. <laughs> you're going in the bucket. We'll keep you too, bugger it. Uh, oh, yeah, we'll keep you. I've kept, let's be honest, I've kept worse. Oh, you're definitely going back. You're going back. Oh no, we've just passed the line. You gotta, you gotta be vigilant like that. Make sure you throttle down as you go through. All right, come on here. And apply the brakes like that. And hopefully we can kind of just sit here uh, while we do this, okay? Like, it may not be perfect. We may need to adjust, but, uh, ooh, uh, look, I'll throw you back. Attempting, but no. That's a big one. There's some, there is some big ones here. Look at the size of these. Yeah, keep that one. Keep that one. Keep that one. Hey, this is a good haul. Right, um, can I see, alright, there it is there, right, we'll have a look after this one, that made it quite handy actually, <laughs> boosting up to the next spot, how easy was that, alright, this looks quite full, the, I'll, I'll be honest, I feel like we're like getting, uh, better hauls here, in this quieter place where it's probably been less fished. Even though there were less lobsters on the uh, sonar. It seems like better quality is what I'm saying. Uh, you can go back. I probably kept one of those. Uh, like you're about the same. Oh, you're definitely going back, bud. But see, there's been a lot less smaller ones comparatively than uh, than previous catches. Uh, I say that and I just get three in a row, but that's okay. Right, um, now, this is what I'm... You should not be... I should be... Quotes? Lobsters, we've already got 9,754 kilos, have we? Remaining 6,900 fresh. This is what I'm. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we've got 323 lobsters. Is that right? At 1,105 kilos. Oh, look, here's our next. Um, here's a pot I prepared earlier. All right, so I'm going to burn through these last three here. Then I'm going to shoot straight up north and pick the rest of them up. Can we um? Haul, can we hauls? Yep. Good job. And then, hopefully by that point, we can go back and sell them and see what we make for the day, hey? I was hoping to get a, a little bit more fishing in for us. But, as a fishing game. Uh, but what we did end up doing today was a lot, uh, a lot more, um... Uh, put that back for a sec. Was a lot of exploring, which, uh, which I'm actually okay with. Because we got a lot of exploring done that we probably needed to do at some point. And, uh, we've got it pretty much done now. Are we keeping you, your... Uh, I'm gonna throw you back. It just you worry me a little bit. All right, gang, you know how this rolls. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the fishing. And I'll see you when we're ready to sell. I'm gonna throw you back. I've probably kept ones like you already today, but uh, it is what it is.
thought I'd just bring you back quickly. You can see over here we've got 1,891 of 8,000 kilograms stored, right? So first six pots netted us 1,890, so almost 2,000 kilograms. Let's get up north and see what the next six pots uh, yield us, hey? Uh, and then that'll give us a good indication of who was... Who did it better? <laughs> oh, you dipstick ham. Thank you. I am a dipstick. Right, now we should get up here just in time diddly I'm for these lobsters. Perfect. Look at that. We should come into view right now. All right, that actually worked out really well. All right. Oh, it's quite dark too. We're going to need to put the searchlights on probably. Uh, it's coming right on dusk. There's our first one just there. Uh, this is going to make it very, very difficult. All right. What have we got lights wise? Can we put the interior lights on? The searchlight will have to go about there. Yep. Okay, looks like we're heading up that way. Right, so BB back the throttle off. Yep, okay, so we know that 1800 was our first catch. Or let's say 1900. That searchlight's in the worst possible spot. It's not doing anything. Okay, I just want to do this to start with as well. I just want to back off the throttle. Okay, let's uh, let's haul in. Let's put the music back on. Let's get through this catch. Alrighty gang, last pot here, and we'll check the scoreboard straight after this. Now, halfway, so the same amount would have equated this to about, what, 36, 3700. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, sometimes when in doubt, teleport. <laughs> Alright, so about 3600. Oh, put that down. Would have been the quote for double or the same amount. All right, I feel like we're just gonna have a little bit more with this quote, but I, I, I'll tell you this, for what we're catching, I am throwing a lot more back. I'm worried about that one. Oh, this one's about the same as the last one, but I'll take it, I'll take that. There's some iffy ones that I'm always just really, they're borderline, I don't know, okay. Although this has been a good little last bucket. Okay, well that was it, okay. All right, let's check the scoreboard. 37.75. So about the same. <laughs> that was an anti-climax, was it not? All right, now we get to see who's got the best fish prices as well. Can we see that? Hmm, finance. 
who's paying fish prices? Thanks. Now I want um, lobster. No, I want to turn everything else off. Just get me the lobster prices. Thanks. Uh, your mouth? Uh, that's not helping me so much, is it? Okay, this, okay, yeah, okay. Lunenburg. No, that's uh, Lockport, no. Ingalls Head, no. Dennisport, no. So it looks like Lunenburg's gonna pay the most at the moment. Right, let's, um. Let's head to Lunenburg. But we should go up here and check that place out too, shouldn't we? Uh, that's Dennisport. That's Lockie Point. Of course, they're all the way around there. But uh, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to finish by going all the way back around here. And then next time out, we might hit a couple of these guys. and We might do a little bit of exploring up up, um, up north up here and see if there's any lobsters up there for us to get. All right, uh, go. So we'll, we'll see what 3,775 nets is in the bank anyway in terms of... Uh, terms of lobster hopefully <sighs> I really thought we'd get closer to the to the mark today luckily for us I had planned on doing a big session of fishing well we did a big session of exploring I think today and I think you'll find that was um, that was much better uh, well not much better it was just a little bit different and we got a lot done for not a lot of fishing we got a lot done so we figured out uh, where other ships would be that we could potentially buy uh, and what sort of direction we're going to head in. Luckily for us, we've got a couple of months up our sleeve of lobster fishing to get through. Um, so I think one of these episodes coming up are going to have—they're going to have to be a big session of uh, oh, it's raining of uh, lobster hunting just to get our just to get our money right up there. So we can probably look at the four hundred plus thousand ships. And the more we play through these episodes, the more we can just keep fine tuning and adjusting. Uh, what we want to do there in terms of uh, of what we're going to buy. If you've got thoughts uh, on what you think we might or should buy, I'd love to hear them. What do you think? Uh, what are you looking forward to seeing the most out of uh, what type, what type of fishing Gary gets into? Remember, this is the glitter time, but the next boat's not going to be called the glitter time two, glitter time the second because Gary's going through his name change, remember, at the moment. This part of his life, he's going through the legal legalities of changing his name. Poor Gary. I feel sorry for the fella. He's such a nice guy with his big red mutton chops and balding head. <laughs> All right, can we get in here, you bloody Muppet ham? Yeah, I'm trying to just figure out, uh, yeah, it is straight over here. I think it's there. Yeah, I think it's there. So yeah, I am actually really stoked with how today's episode went. Now, let me know down below as well if you'd like to see a little bit more fishing or whether you're happy to see the exploring stuff because that needs to be done. The exploring is part of the game. Uh, we could just fish all the live long day, but that would get just a little bit stale too. So I think a good mix up sometimes is what we need. It helps the progression of the game. We get to find out more stuff and uh, and we get to make a bit of side hustle. What I'm kicking myself today is I didn't ask those other ports previously to Lunenburg or wherever we're coming into, um, where, where um, some good lobster spots were. I should have really done that. And the other thing is, uh, when we kick off next time, we might pick up a, see if we can pick up a contract to do some work, some, some uh, paid work. At the, uh, at the docks, or maybe the bar's got some paid work for us, someone in there. So we'll pick that up and have a look too, I think. Okay, just over here. Look at that nice big marina here, and we've got to come over to these horrible little docks. Oh, that's a pretty cool boat. Look at the size of that thing compared to us. Down on the boardwalk. Boardwalk. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, what are we gonna make, people? Uh, what are we going to make today? I'm thinking in the nether regions of 70,000. I could be wrong though. I feel like we don't have as much on board as what we previously have had. 
Mm, I think we're going to have to do one of those um, halls next time where we go out, we catch everything, then we swing back around and drop the pots and catch everything again. Um, yes, I do. 92,000! And, ah, oh, undersized lobsters fall, but only $4,000 fine. They used to be like $5,000 a pot. Ah, oh, maybe that's a cheaper, cheaper fine over here at Lunenburg. Look at that. All right, that's a good way to finish off things today, ladies and gents. Thanks for joining me. I've been Van Ham. Next time out, what we'll do is, um, what's the services? I oh, know we don't want rescue service. Next time out, we might uh, see if we can pick up a mission. Port delivery. Help deliver cargo to another port. Fast travel will be disabled when accepting this mission. We can try it. We can give it a go. It'll help our reputation, put it that way, and then we can get some better... Better, uh, better roles, better gigs. I've been Van Ham. Thanks for joining me and Gary down on this adventure today. I really like the new sky blue boat he's running. Uh, and I really like uh, some of the towns we visited today. All right. Stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to your screen. We'll see you guys very soon for some more glitter action. Bye for now.